Hello folks, it's Queen Jingling back at you. We had a couple of hits last night and I know for a fact that some of y'all out there who were watching me also hit because I was communicating back and forth with, with one of my subscribers earlier and they kept asking me about what I thought about pick three. And yeah, I do talk to my subscribers quite often and help them give them advice on how to uh, pick these hits so we played uh pick four earlier i think i played the same numbers and i believe if i'm correct me and the same subscriber that i was communicating also uh had picked some for midday well our middays didn't hit but then i'm like looking at the midday hit and i'm thinking wow this is just this, the reverse of what we had put down on the paper except it's the flip and you know I'm, I'm pretty sure most y'all know what the flip or the mirror number is anyway the um subscriber that i was communicating with hit me back she said what do you think about tonight i and i was like in a hurry so be honest with you i gave her two numbers that Really, I was not really thinking, not that I didn't intend to, I really didn't have as much priority on these two numbers as, as I did this other number that I was playing. Because I, and sometimes I don't want to give out a number um, over the internet because I'd be thinking that the people who run the lottery be watching this, and in fact, I know they'd be watching this stuff. But I gave her two numbers, and lo and behold, <laughs> If one of the numbers didn't hit, which I think is just awesome. So I know she hit. I played the same number last night. And as you see right here, I got two tickets. The number that uh, hit last night was right here. Actually, I got it wrote down as 340 when it was 304. All right. Doesn't matter. I wish I had wrote it down as 304. I would have hit it straight, but we both hit it um, six straight box. That net us in 40 bucks a ticket. I think she only played it once, but I played it twice. And I have a rule of thumb that anytime that I give you a number to hit, anytime I play a number, I always, I, I don't get less than two tickets. A lot of times, you know, I end up getting three or four tickets, but most of the time I get at least two tickets. I don't want to just play one. Because in case it did hit, you know, hey, that's more money. You know? Anyway. How about, you know, when y'all got to play, just make that a rule of thumb. That whenever, and if you're not going to play a whole lot of numbers, like say if the numbers are going to be like two to three numbers, and you can afford it, go ahead and, and repeat those uh, tickets. Get them to scan them a couple more times run run your tickets about two or three times you know that way you got just like me you got two tickets you can cash you know <laughs> that's kind of cool but i kind of want to do a workout with you and explain something which is what i was trying to explain to her and which was what my last video was all about um let me put this ticket up but anyway i was sitting here doing my picks for tonight this is sunday um april 23rd so i don't know if you can see this or not the formula that i was using was 316 of course last night's hit was 340 anyway let me mark these down right quick and you can better see what I'm talking about when I'm talking. But yeah, I was absolutely fascinated last night. I could not believe. I'm actually getting pretty good at this thing. Now, you know, and I'm not really doing the workouts. Not like I was. I'm doing more looking into numbers and studying the numbers and coming up with the hits by what I see in the numbers and 
I still do the workouts. That's to back up. Is it? If it's what I see in the workout. Because sometimes what I see may or not be in the workout. But yet again, it's closer to what they hit if it doesn't hit itself. Because I, I go back by the uh, some of the rules that I'm learning when I'm following these numbers as they're drawn. Now we're going to go back to um, the nines and the fours again. Um, I was noticing that let me get a piece of paper right here and I'm going to show you show you what I'm talking about. We'll come back to that in a minute. I was noticing in this alright like say if you have a Alright, uh, you have a three-digit number. That's what I picked three numbers made up of. You have a nine, okay? Well, if it's followed by a zero, I believe it would stay a nine, okay? Might go into this position or might go in that position, but I believe it, it will stay a nine. Alright, so if it's not followed by a zero, okay, then what's going to happen it's going to flip over to a 4. Then the same thing. If that 4 is not followed by a 0, it's going to flip over to a 9. might not be in the same position, but it's going to flip over. All right, well, your 9 is not going to be followed by a 0. Again, oops, <laughs> it's going to flip over. Did I write that? Yeah, it's going to flip over. Let's just write that like that. All right, then... Let's just say, with this 4 was accompanied with a 0. Alright. I'd rather put the 0 on this side. But if it's accompanied by a 0, then it's going to stay the same. Okay. But let's say it's accompanied by two zeros. It would probably flip again. So, all right, and then so forth. So, zero, zero, it flipped again. I'm trying to think for a second. All right, now you got your nine, and since there's no other zeros with it, it's going to um, flip, okay? You got your four again. Your four is going to switch back over to a nine again until it's accompanied with a zero. When it accompanied with a zero, wham you It's just going to stay the same. All right. Zero. Okay, now lunch. I don't have a zero down there. What's it going to do? It's going to flip. You see what I'm saying? Okay. That's what I was trying to talk about. The, the uh, fours and the nines. And I'm trying to hope. I'm, I'm hoping some of my subscribers out there that are listening to this will kind of catch on to it. And I've learned this not just here recently by following the numbers. But by following the numbers and going back and studying the numbers throughout the entire time that the state of South Carolina has had the lottery system in place, which means back, I think, back 2002, 2003, somewhere, that's when they started the lottery. I remember when it did start the lottery here in South Carolina. But I went all the way back, back, back all the way back to 2002. And whether they have changed or whether or not they haven't changed, this has remained the same. Okay, I mean, all the change the formulas and stuff, and they'll catch on well. She knows how to do this, and she knows how to do that. But this system is staying the same. I really shouldn't be saying that, because like I said, I don't know who's watching. But you know, at this point, I'm getting to be an old lady. I'm out there, I'm learning more. So, if I'm learning more, I want you to learn more. Alright. I think the next one I'm going to teach you about now, what we're going to talk about, is the zeros. Alright. A lot of times when I see a zero, all right, it may not always stay the same. I'm trying to understand this, and a lot of times it will flip into that next number. You know? 
and then if it don't flip, what it might do is it might double, let's say, let's say, let's say 2 subtract 5 is going to be 3. So I'm going to make it like that, something like that, okay. Alright, of course, a th double, let's put a 7 down here. A double is going to bring forth what? A zero. We always know that doubles always um, brings on a zero. Then a zero flip over. Let's say the zero did flip five. Alright. And then sometimes it might do something like this. Three. Let's see. It's got a 9 in it. Let's just say it's got a 9 in it, okay? So, if you got like a 5, 9 on that last number, per se. Um. Alright. Going back up to this 3 right here. We're going to use that right there, the 3, 3. So, 3 would flip 1, 9 into 8. Alright. 7. You see uh, kind of what I'm talking about? That right there is also, that right there would also be considered a double, okay? And I noticed something the other day. I kept telling this uh, subscriber, we were talking about, we were talking about the nines and the fours. And actually it was yesterday morning. That's why I gave her the, the numbers that I did because I thought that it would, uh, how you say, the, the three digits will be on the lower scale, which will be like anywhere from like zero up to five. I believe it's up to five. Anyway, so I thought we had gotten down the lower scale. So the number I gave her was, let me see. Hold on a minute. I'll tell you in just a second what it was. I believe it was that three, four, four. Just a second. Uh, yeah. Yeah, because uh, the number for yesterday midday that hit was this right here. Alright, and what is this? Alright, what is this? I'm going to show you. The flip of 8 is 3, the flip of 9 is 4, and the flip of that. That's what hit last night. And I believe yesterday morning or before midday, I believe I also gave her... Uh, this number to play for midday as well, and neither one of us hit because it hit in the it it hit up in the uh, upper digits. So now, well, if it's going to hit up in the upper digits, let's watch this, okay? You got that nine right there sitting in the center. I know it's about every other every other um draw there's either a nine or four in it so you just kind of have to kind of watch what's what you just going to watch what's what in order to be able to know what you're going to play so i noticed like i said this digit that came out yesterday for midday had that nine in it i'm like wow let me just look at that back on a piece of paper and see what it comes and sure enough that's what it flipped over to which like I said was the same numbers that I had gave her yesterday before midday so sure enough I'm trying to lay down because I had a good work last night and she hit me back again she says what you think about tonight and I was in a hurry and I'm like okay so I gave her that number and I forgot what other number but it doesn't matter but anyway I gave her that number but my my intended number last night was this right here because of that five i was like well i bet you it was gonna hit on a double and sure enough it didn't that five flipped just like i said the nine flipped and the eight flipped which gave us three four oh that's what hit last night so now i'm trying to figure out what is going to hit for evening tonight and I'm thinking it's gonna be a double maybe like I always said in these plays 
and I don't care what state you're in, I don't care what state you're in, you need to understand that any of us out here showing you guys how to do these workouts don't have the answer. We don't have the answer because it's not set up that way for us to have the exact answer. We have some roundabout numbers and getting pretty darn close numbers, but we cannot pinpoint an exact number. That's what makes it random. That's why they come and tell you guys, hey, it's all random. And yes, it is all random. So by me saying what I say, really and truly, when you hit the lottery, it's nothing but pure luck. Nothing but pure luck. So my thinking is this. I've always understood and believed that we as human beings only use only 10% of our minds. And that is exactly what, that's exactly what scientists and I don't want to call them. Human beings only use 10. <laughs> I'm just going to laugh. <laughs> we only use 10% of our minds. And I'm saying, hey, think about it. Please just think about it. Oh, gosh, I can't believe I'm thinking what I'm thinking. If we only use 10% of our mind, God bless some of these people. God bless them. Because he's all we got. I'm telling you, God is all we got. God is good. Um, if we only use 10% of our minds, they say that, I know y'all going to think I'm far out there, but trust me, Queen Lingo, Queen, Queen Chingling, she half from the crazy side, but it takes a crazy person to think the way I do. But they also say that when a space alien comes down, yes, I said that, space alien, that means another living being from way out there somewhere, came here to Earth. They say the reason sometimes that they don't communicate with us is because the aliens know that we only use about 10% of our minds. And they, hey, yeah, you ever watch Coast to Coast? You ever watch George, or listen to uh, George Nori at night time in the middle of the night? And he'd be talking about these space aliens and stuff. And he'd talk about um, telekinesis and telekinetics and stuff like that. And the use of the mind and, oh, and get a remote viewing. I'm still kind of understanding what remote viewing is. But now when you want to talk about telepathy and predicting the future, hey, I got to tell you this much. I don't think it's that far out there because I myself have seen things way before they ever happened. I'd be riding down. When I was a kid, I noticed this. You know, when I'd be riding down the road with my mom driving a car and uh, about two or three miles down the road, I'd be like, in my in my mind, I see a, ahead of us a car that was in an accident. And sure enough, when we got up to the accident, there was the car that's in the accident. It was the same color and everything that I visioned in my mind. So I began at a young age knowing that, hey, something was going on with me. Something really, really strange. In fact, I'll tell you a little story real quick. Back when I was, I think I was about maybe, I want to say about 11. My mom and dad had split it when I was 11 years old anyway. My mother and father, I think my dad had, had something to do with it anyway. My brother David was 14. Um, no, I'll take that back. You know, he was 16, so it was almost about 12 or 13 when this happened. They wanted to buy my mom. My mom and my dad wanted to buy my brother a car. Anyway, my brother had a job delivering newspapers around the neighborhood. So one day he had delivered the newspaper to a neighbor. And while he was in the house collecting the uh, monthly newspaper dues, somebody had snuck outside and stole his car. Just, just ran off with it. Anyway, he came home crying out, Mama, 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 somebody stole my car. All right, she's all mad, she's all upset. We all get in her car and take off and go looking for it. And... I remember her saying something about Thompson Road. Thompson Road was actually, if you were standing at my house, it would be to the back side of our house about a half a mile away, or about two miles away. There's no way, you had to go around 
the neighborhood about 10 miles just to get to a half a mile road that um, you can see from my house. And the other house where the car got stolen from was in the opposite direction about a mile. Okay. So what happened was <laughs> I told him, I said, yeah, let, let's, go, let's go check out Thompson Road. So we go, Thompson Road was an old dirt road. We went down this old dirt road. You went as far as you could go, probably about maybe, wasn't even a half a mile before they had it blocked off with some limbs or something, a mound of dirt. I don't remember. So you had to get out of the car and walk the rest of the way if you was going to get down there to explore something. But I still had a vision in my head. I'm like, I don't know where this is leading to me, but I, and it's like I could just smell this car. And sure enough, we got out of the car and we headed up the road a little bit more and it went down this really, really steep hill. And when I got down to the bottom of the hill, I looked, there was a big old pile of brush. And I looked in and it looked kind of funny. I don't know why, it was kind of like mashed down or something. But then all of a sudden, I took off and jumped over that pile of brush and took out running through the woods. And lo and behold, you never, I promise you, you're not going to believe what I found there in the middle of the woods with my brother's car. And I'll never forget that. I will never forget that until the day I die. And I was so excited. My mama came and she said, what, you, you found it? And yeah, mama, is right here. I, I found it. It's right here. And I'm telling you, my mother... And my brother. My brother was older than I am. And, because my mother, I know, she loved both of us. But, trust me, she loved David just a little bit more than she loved me. The way I felt at the time. And right now, you know, I'm not really sure that she loved either one of us any more different than the other. Because, well, I'm doing, we, I'm, God bless you, Mom. I love you. you in the spirit world now. But I know we put you through some hell. <laughs> we were some hellions. <laughs> but, anyway. um, I think my brother went right quick and he got somebody on a record a friend or something that he knew well the record came over and pulled the car out and pulled it back to the house and they went through it and i'll never forget for the rest of the afternoon my mother here i am i was what, maybe 12 13 years old i need help excuse my french but how could a 12 or 13 year old actually know somebody and conspire against her own brother to have his car stolen. And that's exactly what my mother accused me of. Is that I conspired with somebody. To have my brother's car stolen. I don't know anybody. I'm just 12 or 13 years old. But what I'm saying is. Uh, some of us out there do have. You know you got to use your mind. Concentrate. I mean if you need to get off into a lonely space. By yourself. And just. All I can tell you. Is I, I don't know how it came about. I don't know how it came about. I think some people are just naturally gifted with it. But I use my mind to perceive a lot of things. And I still do it today. And I begin to think, um, we can do that with these numbers. I, trust me, since I've been looking at numbers a different way these last few weeks, even though somebody stole my scooter, you know, and I haven't been able to get down to the store to play my numbers like I want to. That's all right. They can keep the scooter. Okay, they can keep the scooter. Because <laughs> Rebecca Lee fixing to move on higher up. Okay, she's going to get her something better. And she's going to get it with what she's doing right here. Uh, everything's A-OK. -okay. I'm telling you, payback. I hate to say this, but it's my French. I'm telling you, payback is a mother. Payback is a mother. Oh, uh, but yeah. I do honestly believe in um, the fact that we only use 10% of our minds. And I do believe in telekinetics and remote viewing and all that kind of stuff. I said, listen, George Norrie at night time all the time. And I want to call in. But you know what? I figured them suckers is on there just to sell books anyway. He ain't, and I'm not a guest. So he's going to treat me with a grain of salt. He's going to listen about two words I say if I called in. Then he's going to just hang up on me and back to whatever they were blabbing about in the first place. But, um, I'm thinking that we can always use this to predict the next draw. So that's what I'm working on now. And you know what? I Just like I said, I'm just getting better and better at it every day. 
Uh, I don't know what y'all got to say about that. Um, but think about it. Think about what I just said. And you got to comment. Leave me a comment and, and tell me what you think about it. How do you feel about telekinetics, telekinesis? You know, can we move things with our mind? Can we predict what's going to happen? Um, I think we can. And I'm telling you, one easier way to do that is to start by these numbers. And the best way to predict these numbers is to study them. Study the patterns, study the tracks, study the way they flip, flop, and the way these numbers move. Not necessarily doing the workout. Use the workouts as a backup, as a background to show proof as to what it is that you're thinking in your mind could possibly exist. So, with that being said, let's... um. If you liked the video, hit that like button. And, hey, because when you hit that like button, let me tell you what it does for me. It helps me out as far as my viewership, as far as how many times uh, YouTube plays my video, and who all out. So when you're helping me, you're helping other people out there, which I think is one. We all need to help each other. This is Queen Chingling. Like I said, if you like this video, hit that like button, subscribe to my channel, and get back with me. Leave a comment, because I do want to hear from you. And, hey... I am going to get my website fixed up. It's Queen Ching uh, Ling dot com. I want y'all to be checking out my website because pretty soon I will have that thing up and running like I want to. I'm trying to figure it out. I am trying to figure it out. If y'all got any suggestions, hey, hit me back with a comment. I love you guys. And uh, stay tuned. Let's see what we can get into. Ciao.